I are a polywag Pokemon in real life. Welcome back to Shelby on Safari, the place where I, a wild animal biologist and lover of pop culture, often combine my passions into one. Today, with Pokemon Go's Community Day right around the corner, featuring Poliwag, the tadpole Pokemon, I thought we'd explore our real life Pokemon to see the similarities. So you ready? Join the Safari and let's get started. for tadpole is actually pollywog, like pollywag. Tadpoles mostly live in water and propel themselves with their tails. It's fitting then that pollywag doesn't actually have front legs because tadpoles develop their back legs first then later on develop their front legs, all while the tadpole's tail shrinks down and their body becomes more rounded. Sound familiar? During this phase, tadpoles will also develop lungs and eardrums. Both polywag and tadpoles have a relationship with their environment. We see in the Pokedex entries that not only are the swirls on polywag's body, its internal organs that are visible because their skin is quite thin, but that this swirl can be different depending on where a polywag lives. Some even suggest that this is equatorial based. Now, while we don't see swirls on our tadpoles, the environment is key to the rate of their transformation. Take, for example, a tadpole that's in an environment that's filled with predators, like fish. It's been shown that tadpoles in stressful environments such as this may turn into frogs more quickly to escape a pond that's teeming with threats. Whereas Whereas on the other hand, if things are pretty safe and there's plenty of food like algae, or even if the weather is too cold, tadpoles can delay metamorphizing into their final state for up to a year. Now with Pokemon Go's Poliwag Community Day coming up, I'm really looking forward to getting a shiny Poliwag that eventually I will evolve into a Politoad using a King's Rock. I was surprised to find that the Pokedex entries state that the longer and curlier the hair on Politoad's head is, the more respect it gets from Poliwags and even other Politoads. But they're also quite communicative singing in a loud voice that sounds like bellowing, which made me think of the Cokie Frog. They get their name from their distinctive Cokie call that can reach 100 decibels. This is louder than many power tools and equipment and even gives me a run for my money. If you know, you know. Now, like Politoad, the Cokie Frog doesn't actually have webbing between its toes. These amphibians have special discs or toe pads on their feet that allow them to climb up vertical surfaces and cling to leaves and trees. It is said that choruses of male coqui frogs can be heard from dusk until dawn all over the island of Puerto Rico. However, the coqui frog isn't entirely like Politoad. Unlike most frogs, the Puerto Rican coqui frog doesn't actually have a tadpole stage. Get this. Male cookie frogs stay with the eggs to not only keep them safe, but keep them from drying out. As the eggs become unviable if they dry out, the father frog provides them with water via contact with his moist skin. And instead of tadpoles emerging from the eggs, tiny frogs with short little tails emerge from them instead. No tadpole stage required. How's that for a real life Pokemon? Are you looking forward to Poliwag Community Day? I can't wait to get a shiny Politoad. Let me know down in the comments below, do you prefer Poliwrap or Politoad? And to keep your adventure going, why not check out my Pokemon Animal Comparison playlist right here. Everything from Vulpix to Cramorant to even, of course, Wooloo. Go and click it. I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!